Hi everyone. I am Dr. Shraddha Arya, founder of Shraddha Rehab and Wellness. I am practicing in the field of physiotherapy for last 12 years. Today I am going to present a case of total knee arthroplasty. The knee joint is modified hinge type synovial joint which mainly allows for flexion and extension and it allows very small degree of medial and lateral rotation. It is formed by articulation between the patella, femur and tibia. The knee joint consists of two articulations. One is tibiofemoral and other one is patellofemoral articulations. Total knee arthroplasty is also called as total knee replacement. TKR is widely performed procedure for advanced arthritis of the knee primarily in older patients above 70 years of age with osteoarthritis. TKR is indicated when there is a severe pain in the knee joint with or without any deformity. Types of TKR The first type of TKR is unicompartmental TKR. The articular surface of the tibia and the fever, medial and the lateral compartment of the knee are replaced by the implant. The second type of TKR is bicompartmental TKR. The articular surfaces of tibia and fever, both medial and lateral compartments of the knee are replaced by an implant. Third type of TKR is tricompartmental TKR. Articular surfaces of lower femur and the upper tibia and patella are replaced by prosthesis. Goals of TKR to relieve pain, provide adequate mobility, correct deformity, improve patient's physical function and improve quality of life. Indications for the surgery Severe joint pain with weight bearing or motion that affects the functional abilities. Extensive destruction of articular cartilage of the knee secondary to advanced arthritis. Deformity of the knee such as genuvalgum, genuvarum, gross instability or limited motion. Failure of non-operative management. A 62 years old female patient, housewife, known case of diabetes mellitus and hypertension, was on regular medication, presented with the history of severe bilateral knee pain, difficulty in walking, climbing stairs, and was diagnosed for bilateral osteoarthritis of knees. Patient was obese with BMI of 30 kg per meter square. She was advised to undergo bilateral total knee replacement surgery. The patient underwent physiotherapy before surgery for 15 days, which included ankle, knee, hip joint exercises, static hamstrings, quadriceps, gluteus, and back exercises, during which we had explained patient with the post-operative regime. She was educated about the complications, wound care, breathing exercises, and self-assisted active exercises. Our patient underwent TKR on 19 September 2022 and was discharged from the hospital on 24th of September 2022. During her stay in the hospital, she could do ankle to movements, knee bending, leg raises and could sit at the edge of the bed with maximum external support and with great amount of pain. Post her discharge from the hospital, we divided her treatment in three phases. The maximum protection phase, which was phase number one, which lasted from week one to week four. And in this phase, patient has maximum pain and stitches get removed around 14 to 16 day of the surgery. Moderate protection phase, which is 4 to 8 weeks, and the minimum protection phase beyond 8 weeks of surgery, which is return to functional stage. So, in phase 1, from 1st to 4th week, the goals that we wanted to achieve in this patient were achieve 0 to 90 degrees of knee flexion and 90 to 0 degrees of extension, walking inside the house with the help of walker, stair climbing, 5 to 6 stairs with support. The physiotherapy plan for this four weeks was chest physiotherapy, which included breathing exercises, ankle to movements, maintain limb in extension, heel resting on the pillow, static gluteus, hamstrings, quadriceps, transfer training, bed transfers, bed to chair transfers, heel assisted uh, SLR, later progress to active SLR, stand and ambulate with walker. Patellar mobilization, knee flexion self-assisted, knee flexion was progressed to heel drags in supine position to active knee bending. Bedside sitting with support progressed to bedside sitting without support. When patient was comfortable with sitting without the support, we added knee extension exercises in sitting. Gait training, we started the walking with the walker and minimum external support of one person. Stair climbing, she could climb up and down 
5 to 6 days with maximum support then phase 2 4 to 8 weeks the goals that we wanted to achieve in this phase was increase the strength and endurance of the hip and knee muscles continue to increase the range of motion improve standing balance improve trunk stability and improve functional mobility the physiotherapy plan for this phase was range of motion exercises hold and relax technique patellar mobilization closed chain exercises resisted knee extensions in standing standing wall slides mini squats partial lunges sit to stand stationary cycling as high as possible with knee extension proprioceptive to balance training to improve functional mobility heel walking toe walking backward walking side stepping marching and stepping over small objects amelioration on variety of surfaces walking with the support of cane gradually progress to incline walking kneeling to standing ascending stairs descending stairs balance and proprioceptive training was given by the end of this phase of the rehabilitation we achieved full range of motion full extension by the end of this phase of rehabilitation we achieved active range of motion full extension and 120 degrees of flexion quadriceps or hamstrings and hip muscle strength grade 4 minimal to no pain during the exercises and ambulation without the cane the functional phase which was beyond 8 weeks so 8 to 12 weeks the frequency of the exercises was changed to 3 times a week approximately 8 to 12 weeks and beyond after surgery the task specific strengthening exercises proprioceptive and balance training advanced functional training cardiopulmonary conditioning to develop the strength power balance endurance need to return to functional status mainly demanding physical activities such as ascending stairs descending stairs and recreational activities after the rehabilitation program patient had follow up with a surgeon after 3 months and had recovered fully returned to her hometown without pain and with greater level of movements and independence